Hey everyone, it's Mr. Ng, and today we are going to use the website Pixlr to create these really cool dot polka dot pattern rooms inspired by the artist Yayoi Kusama. And we're gonna focus on the pattern, we're gonna focus on the repetition, and create this really cool image using um, some photo editing. All right, let's get started. Hi everyone, so to get started, we are going to type in your um, browser here in Google. I'm going to type in Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com, where some of you might be getting to Pixlr through uh, Schoology link, and that's okay too. Either way, you're going to get to this home page for the website Pixlr. This is a, a photo editing type of art site. We're going to scroll down. You're going to click Playful Pixlr X right here, okay? Um, Pixlr E and Pixlr X are similar. E just has some more complicated tools. X is just a little simpler to use. So we're going to start with X. We're going to click that one. Um, you can use this site to edit your own photos. And um, in the future, I'd like you to try that. But today for our project, we're going to use stock photography that Pixlr has already provided. So we're going to click right here, stock search. I'm going to click that. Okay. Pixlr is going to provide these um, different photos uh, submitted by other artists for you to use on Pixlr. So that's really nice that they're in there already. In our search bar up here, we're going to click room, R-O-O-M, because for our Yayoi Kasama, Art, we need a room, okay? Try to pick something that doesn't have too much, too much different color in it, not, not too busy. There can be a lot of furniture, but uh, try to pick a room that is generally um, similar in tone. Um, so I am going to, I'm gonna pick this one. Um, it doesn't matter if there's people in it or not, but it has to be an inside room, okay? Inside a building, it doesn't have to be a house. All right, so this is our bottom layer. See this blue um, highlight around this box? That means that this photo is the, the layer that is selected right now. We're gonna change our picture to be monochromatic so we can put Yoyo Kasama dots on it. So we're gonna come over here and go to effect. And you want an effect that is monochromatic, just one color to change base, most of the stuff in your room just to one color. So. If you click colors, a color filter here, you can choose a background color. Um, I'm gonna actually go back though and hit uh, too old because that'll give me kind of a more of a black and white type feel, which is kind of what I was hoping for. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click, pick this one here. It's called Tom. I'm gonna hit apply, but if, yours, if, if you want a slightly different color, that's okay as long as you're changing your, your photo to one color tone, right? One color, monochromatic. Okay, next um, we're going to create a new layer to put our dots in. So this, this layer is our current layer. And then I'm going to hit the plus right here and um, choose empty, which means empty uh, layer, new layer right here. So now you can see it is highlighted in blue. There's a new layer that we're selecting. So that means we're no longer working um, directly on the picture. We're working on a new, new layer that is above the picture. Um, now we add the dots, we're gonna hit drawing, but instead of drawing with our paintbrush, we're actually gonna use shapes this time. So you're gonna pop over here, this button here that says shape tool, click that, and then click a circle, okay? And that'll be for our dots. And the reason why that is, is you want to be able to drag your dot, because if we're putting dots on everything, if I put a dot right here, it's not going to look, it's going to look more artificial because the dot's kind of floating in space, right? But if I drag my circle dot this way, make it a little narrower, right? It makes it, gives you that illusion that that dot is sitting on the wall at that angle, right? Because when you look at a circle from an angle, the same angle the wall is, you're going to see that dot warped a little bit, right? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make our dots look somewhat realistic, like in the real picture, the dots were really there when the person took the picture, if that makes sense. So I'm going to hit undo because I want to change the color. You can pick whatever color you want to for your dots. Pick a kind of like a lime bright green just to make them pop out. 
And then we're going to do one more thing. Oops, I lost it. Let me go back over here. I click my dots. Um, I am I'm going to come over here and see these three dots right here for our layer that we selected in. I'm going to bring the transparency down just a little bit and that'll help them blend a little bit with our picture. Okay, maybe like to 85 would be good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start um, putting dots on our, our room. Okay, so like for example, if I want some on the floor, maybe uh, I'm going to angle it, put, it, put it like that. It's pretty bright. And then put another dot and I'm going to kind of, you know, because you're using a circle shape, I can drag it different ways and kind of make it look like it's it's fitting in here okay and if it still looks too bright then I can change my transparency see if I bring it all the way down it looks like it's more blended into the um, into the the image because what's happening is it's making it semi-transparent so some of the tones some of the shadows from the picture underneath here are, are coming through all right, so what I want you to do is I want you to enjoy yourself, take your time, put some dots, more than just a few, like just like a Yoyo -yo Kasama piece, I want you to fill your whole room with dots, okay? Ceiling, and notice, once again, I'm kind of using that skew, so it looks like it's not just a flat circle, it looks like it's really on the ceiling, because I'm using that angle. I have to think about, okay, which way do I angle it? This is a little too wide. I have to make it narrower. But if I put it there, that's too thin, right? Too narrow. So I'm going to move it more like this, okay? If you ever mess up, then you can hit undo, which is down here, or control Z, and that'll help you undo. You can put your dots on your furniture, on everything in the picture. Try to make it look like there was really dots stuck there. And I just want you to take your time. Maybe you can put on some uh, relaxing music in the background. And just see if you can fill your whole room with dots. You don't have to get it all done in one sitting. If you need to take a break and then come back to this another time, that's okay too. Um, I just want you to have fun with this. And really, really uh, fill this room with dots. It's going to take me a while, too, to do this one, and that's okay. All right, so when it looks like someone has filled this room with dots, like someone's taken stickers and stuck them all over the walls and the furniture, and they're covered in uh, Yoyo Kasama style dots, you're going to save your picture. So come down here in this button down here that says Save right here. I'm going to click that and uh, save it as a JPEG file. That would be fine. Just rename it. Um, I don't know. I'm going to call it Dot .room. Uh, you can title it whatever you want to, but that file name will help you find it when you're trying to upload it to Schoology, right? I'm going to click Download. And on your computer, it will hopefully notify you that it has been saved to your downloads folder in your files, okay? So make sure that you upload it to the Schoology assignment, and after that, you are all, you are all done.